visited Kenya, I had high expectations, but I tried to keep my mind open to all the possibilities. I knew I would encounter incredible landscapes and wildlife, but it completely exceeded my expectations. The first place on this amazing journey I visited was Amboseli National Park. Amboseli National Park sits on the southern border of Kenya. It borders Tanzania and offers some of the best views of Mount Kilimanjaro you could possibly imagine. The landscape is predominantly covered by swamps. During the wet season, the landscape is extremely wet. However, when we were there, it was pretty dry in most sections. Savanna can also be found in the area, allowing for animals such as zebras, wildebeest, and giraffes to thrive. Amboseli is different than any place I've ever been. Although there was a ton of wildlife, the best part was seeing the herds of elephants. Amboseli is known for their elephants, and they did not disappoint. They were everywhere. Every morning when I would wake up, I could hear the elephants roaming around outside our camp. Herds constantly roamed outside the protective fence surrounding the camp. In the evenings, the herds would come together at some of the watering holes. We were able to get close. Sometimes they came closer than we expected. They were used to the jeeps and would sometimes come to check us out. Elephants see shadows, so coming close and feeling the vehicles was their way of figuring us out. We just had to stay calm and let them do their thing so we would not spook them. I expected close encounters, but seeing those huge animals up that close was more than I bargained for. We would spend most of our mornings and evenings searching for wildlife, but we would always tend to come back to the elephants. One of my most memorable moments was on our last evening there. We found ourselves in between a couple of herds of elephants and some bulls that were bathing in one of the waterways. As most of the people were watching a large bull take a dust bath along with some young females, I noticed a couple of young bulls sparring. It was not breeding season, so males and females were together. These two young bulls ignored everything else as they fought with one another in the swampy water. This went on for what seemed like forever. Then, as suddenly as they started, they stopped and walked away. Luckily, they were at a distance. Being that close to the elephants in the wild was dangerous, but being close to bulls sparring would be extremely dangerous. We had an incredible journey through Amboseli, and the trip was just beginning. Next time we'll go to Samburu. Until then, keep exploring.